how's it going this morning? Oh man, this is a fine Monday. I'm gonna be on the work in the night schedule. All right, so let's get to it. So I'll make a little video. Um, and it's on, uh, it's on prejudice. That's right. Prejudice is a real thing. Look at this, y'all. Dog poop. We had a bunch of rain, man. I gotta come out here and find all this crap. Anyway, um, prejudice. Yeah, people say they ain't prejudiced, and people say that, you know, people don't see no differences, and people don't have hate. And, oh, yes, they do. Oh, yes, people do have hate. People are prejudiced. And it's not just against humans. People are prejudiced against all sorts of things. But we're going to talk about the prejudice that people have against dog breeds. And it's a funny thing. It really is. Um, <clears throat> let's, let's, let's talk about it for a second, all right? So anytime you're strolling on TikTok, you're just flipping and flipping and you see a video where there's a dog confrontation it don't even have to be nothing big it can be a it can be a, an Alaskan Malamute and a little Boston Terrier or you know somebody with a kind of Corso and a Frenchie or just you know I'm just making up something um and people always have to bring up one dog in their hate, in their hate comment. The dog don't even have to be featured in the confrontation, but the dog will be brought up and you know what dog it is, the pit bull. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And what I find to be so hilarious, right, is the person that is making the expert comment in the in, in, in they're implying that they just know for a fact never even owned the breed never had any type of association with the breed probably has never even pet the dog only been informed by the great social media and the news and if you're old enough the newspaper, right? <clears throat> and this has been going on forever. People just racist, prejudice towards a dog that they have never even owned and have no reason to hate. 90% of the people who hate pit bulls has never even owned a pit bull never had an association with them because you can tell by their comments that they don't know anything about them and the purpose of this video is to make people who own the real pit bulls because i'm not talking about bullies and i'm not talking about your 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 boxer and your american staffordshire mix all right i'm not talking about that um or your your bull type dog i'm talking about the actual game bred pit bull. You got to be careful. <clears throat> Don't get caught up in trying to voice your opinion too loud. You know, state your claim, make your point, but don't try to prove anything. Don't put your dogs out there. <clears throat> because if you do any sort of work with your dogs, or even if you don't work with your dogs, and you... You, you do anything with your dogs. Let's say you have multiple dogs. And we all know as dog owners, dogs have accidents where they will argue with each other. And, you know, maybe, you know, the kids let the dog out the time they were eating and there was a little small scuffle. Nothing serious. Nobody had to go to the vet. And somebody got a few little marks, right? All it takes is for your neighbor to hear that mess. Call to do a welfare check, because all they gotta mention is, oh, my neighbor has pit bulls and they're fighting. Them people coming. You bet your sweet butt they coming. 
And when they show up and your dog's got a couple marks, man, you are in a world of hurt. You're trying to justify it. You're trying to tell them what happened. They don't want to hear it. You're a dog fighter. You're a professional dog fighter. You're baiting them. You're training them. And, and, and you have a career animal here. And, and he's a he's a lean, mean killing machine. And don't let him be in shape. Huh. You got him in a you got him in a damn conditioning program and, and, and he's ready to go to battle next week, the next day, or that evening. You gotta prove your innocence, man. And you won't win. Depending on where you at, <laughs> you won't win. And it is you, you guys better just wake up and realize that people are prejudiced towards pit bulls and I'm talking about towards the real American game bred pit bull the dog that you rarely see you never really see a game bred real American pit bull running loose you rarely see a real game bred American pit bull in an animal shelter you don't see them because the person who owns that dog or owns these type of dogs, we know what they are. They're not human aggressive. Some will not. If some don't know you, they're not going to let you come up and pet them. Yeah. And they'll bark if you come up to their territory. But just being human aggressive, running down, mauling people. and attack, No, they're not doing all that. But these American bullies... These dogs with all these other um, bull-type dogs in them. They give the real game-bred American Pit Bull Terrier a bad rap. Nobody's going around shutting down the guy who's breeding American bullies. Nobody's taking him to court and, 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 and prosecuting him. Sending him to prison for breeding dogs. And it's amazing to me. They know the difference. They know the difference between this stuff. They pretend. Oh, they let the world be misled. Pit bull, pit bull, pit bull. And that's how I feel. And it, that it's a prejudice. I've gone to the animal shelter. And I walked through there. And I've seen more American bullies than you can process in your mind. I'm going to tell you, back in, I want to say, 05, um, a couple of my escape artists got out. And this will always ring true to me. And this is before I really realized just how prejudiced they were. Um, they had gotten out. <clears throat> Some people had been coming by teasing them and, you know, bringing their dogs by, you know, fluffing them up at the gate. And... My dogs were in pens where they got out. <laughs> they, they they climbed out of that pen. They got out of the pen. Then they got out of the yard. And listen, it was a six-foot pen, six-foot fence. One went under and one went over. Well, needless to say, they got out and wreaked havoc. And they wasn't out that long before I had my phone blowing up. Your dogs. And they, they caused enough mayhem. Anyway, I'm at the dog shelter. And um, I'm walking through there, and they 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 had I can't even remember how many American bullies. And back then we used to call them ill illegitimate pit bulls, because <laughs> we knew you know this is before they coined the name pit bull uh, American bully. Um, they had they had so many, so many. They they just filled up. The, the shelter and they had my dogs listed as a mix right which was cool which was cool but let me tell you where they had them they had them in a whole different building yep they had my dogs in a different part of the building they had them listed as pit bull mix and they had them in a different part of the building and I walked through there and they said well these are all the dogs that we picked up I said, well, my dogs are picked up today. I said, you got to have some more dogs. And they told me, no, we don't have any more dogs here. This is the only 
shelter. The shelter I went to was the only shelter in Pinellas County. So my dogs wouldn't have been um, in Manatee County. They wouldn't have been in Hillsborough County. They was in, they was in Pinellas County. Pinellas County Animal, um, um, Animal Services picked up my dog. And I told him, I said, y'all got to have him. I said, because I called, checked the list, and there was a description. I said, none of these dogs fit my dog's description. So they, they, they pondered around, pondered around, pondered around. And I guess they were hoping I was going to leave. But I didn't leave. And so they was like, well, I, I don't know what to tell you. These are the dogs we have. Now, mind you, I got there quick to get my dogs. I was at work. Dogs got out, and a neighbor... Um, called me, a guy who knew me. He called me. He said, man, your dog's loose, man. You got to get them. But they had gotten to my dogs before I could. So I knew my dogs were picked up. And these people were going to um, swing me some BS and send me out to send me away. So finally, another gentleman comes up. He says, hey, let me take you over here and we can walk through and we can see if your dog's over here. I said, okay. So I followed the guy. Nowhere near where the other dogs are. And we get over there. And we walk through the building. And we walk through and we walk through. And my dogs are quiet. They're not the barking type. And we walk through and the guy's like, well, I don't, don't, don't see him. And I'm like, damn. He said, this is our last building. I said, that's crazy, man. And I said, wait a minute. I said, what's way down there? Listen, this whole building was empty. And the last two kennels is where my dogs were. All the way in the back. I walked down there and I saw my dogs. Huh. Some of y'all gonna think I'm <laughs> making this story up. I ain't making this story up. I ain't got time to make no stories up for y'all. But I'm telling you, there is a prejudice. I'm telling you. They have a natural hate for the true American game bread pit bull. And I'm gonna bring, this brings up another subject. For all of y'all that get on here and y'all be flexing y'all dogs, showing them their, their, their combative skills and y'all showing them, their, showing them on there with all their scars and y'all talking about how good they are and where they're from. Hmm. I'm scared of y'all. It's up. Because y'all must be part of that organization that's trying to bait people. And I'm saying this so that I can reach the ears of a real dog man who just want to get online and enjoy, um, you know, the, the old school philosophy, enjoy the videos and, and seeing them. Don't, don't, don't interact with those type of websites, um, those type of uh, posts. Don't interact with them. That's, that's bait. Because you got to think to yourself, in this day and time, somebody comes on and somebody's uh, posting uh, all this type of stuff with the way they're running and, and shutting down um, American game bred pit bull breeders and the way they're, they're railroading people and the way they're, 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 they're just taking away people's rights for owning these dogs, breeding these dogs. Better open up your eyes and better use your head. They hate these dogs. They hate them with a passion. And I'm, I'm just telling you, you know, I know I ain't got my dogs out today. You know, my dogs, they put up, um, for no reason other than, you know, I just came out here to clean up the yard. And, you know, I got the garbage man and stuff running around, so I don't need them getting in nobody's way. But, um, hey, man, this 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 video is just be a message um, to, to people. I don't know who's going to watch it. And I don't know if it get any views, but it's out there. Um, take care of yourself, man. Take care of yourself. Take care of your dogs. And be smart. Don't be running around here uh, getting yourself in those situations because I'm telling you, uh, 
it's, it's, it's not friendly for us with our dogs. I don't know if it ever will be because people just love to get on here and they love to just run their chopper about, oh, the American Pit Bull, American Pit Bull. And these people ain't never owned one. Ain't never owned one. And, and man, I can get on a tantrum about that mess. And then what's so funny is everybody loved these cane corsos. These cane corsos, kind of corsos, whatever you want to call them. Oh, they love them. Here's what's funny. Why y'all love them so much? Y'all hate the pit bull, but y'all want the macho dog. Hmm. Kind of funny. The Preza Canary. Y'all hate pit bulls, but y'all want one that seems <laughs> like those are bullies. But you hate the pit bull, though. It's amazing. I mean, they gave it the American name. Y'all still ain't happy. So, I think I pretty much got up all this poop. Um, but, yeah, just want to bring something to y'all. Um, the world hates your dogs. And um, you might want to be careful. Um, go on social media like tiktok youtube you know whatever instagram and all that other stuff enjoy the videos but as far as interacting with them talking about um you know anything to do with your dogs and trying to you know link with them and 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 find common ground no don't do it just watch the videos and keep it moving don't even like it. I, I commented to one guy and I told him, man, why are you posting this stuff? Because all he's doing is giving them ammunition. And then I thought about it. I said, wait a minute. How can this man be on here posting all this stuff? I said, hmm. Yeah, I said, this is bait. This is bait. He's trying to see who all is going to click to him. And then he can start getting information. And then, boom, shut them down. That's how they're getting. So, take it from me, man. It ain't worth it. All right. Well, um, I ain't got no saying. So, just uh, take care of your dogs and be smart. Later.